In the third period of tonight's Canucks Penguins game, Vancouver put on the pressure, trying to get back to within a goal. With chaos in front of the net, it led to Tokorski's glove coming off. The play went on, though, and with Kuzmenko putting one on net, Tokorski, without his glove, is forced to make a save. And it was on his blocker side, but I don't know, I just thought this was awesome to see. It actually reminded me of last year's playoffs in the first round, where Quick made a couple of awesome saves without his glove against the Oilers. And I think Quick's was a little more impressive, but still. A third string goalie coming off the bench, you got gotta love it. Now, Jari is still out due to injury, so DeSmith was getting his fourth start in a row today. But Vancouver got off to a hot start and chased him early, so let's take a look at how he got here. Again, Vancouver came out guns blazing, and Connor Garland got them up early. He makes a great move here. He got P.O. Joseph to cross up. Recognizing it, he gets a random and scores from the circle, firing one past DeSmith, and for the third game in a row, the Pens give up the first goal of the game. Just a couple minutes later, the Canucks get it to the front of the net, and Brock Besser puts home his eighth of the year as he finds the back bouncing puck in front and gets it by DeSmith, scoring his eighth career goal in nine games against the Pens. Just a very short 25 seconds later, the Canucks would win the faceoff. Shen to Hughes, and he puts the Canucks up by three, scoring three unanswered to start the game off, as this one goes off of Russ trying to block it, and that quick start is what led to DeSmith getting yanked. Now that move may have been what woke the Pens up, as they started peppering the Canucks. Getting on the five and three power play, the Penguins would finally get rolling, winning the faceoff. Smith feeds Malkin, and Martin gets a great piece of this one actually, but Malkin just muscles this one past him and gets the Pens on the board. Back on the offense, the Pens would heat up again and after a great shift, score. Stick on the ice, Crosby deflects this one and gets them to within a goal. Now you can see Crosby gets the puck here and brings three Canucks in with him. That leaves all this space and so he gets the puck back to Dumoulin. The Canucks are left scattering and Dumoulin with a nice shot pass, finds Crosby and the Pens are back in it. Then off the faceoff, Zucker ties up the game at three apiece on a knuckle of a shot. Ekman Larson seems to think the puck's about to hit him in the face, so he ducks out of the way, and this one beats Martin up high. So after an eventful first, to say the least, where the Pens got off 20 shots to Vancouver's 10, we head over to the second. So nearing the midway point of the game, on the 4-4, four four, Gino gets his second of the night on a beauty of a goal. Malkin steals the puck here, drops it for Zucker, and on a great feed back to him, Malkin and Zucker pair up on a nice one to get the pens up for the first time in the game. Later on, again on the power play, Raquel picks up a crazy rebound here and scores the pens fifth unanswered. Malkin from the point actually hits Raquel, and Spencer just has no idea where it ends up, leaving Raquel with a wide open net. That was it for the second, so over to the third we go. The Canucks put it on, trying to get back into the game. And that's where we get back to the opening clip of this one. Again, this was just kind of awesome to see. It's great to see the unwillingness to give up on a play here. The Canucks pressured hard, and a shot from Ekman Larson leads to an insane bounce, and Dermott just barely scores as Tikorski almost pulls off a fantastic save here, but it gets across the goal line, and the Canucks are back to within one. Vancouver would then go on to pull Martin and put on some good pressure late, but the Pens are able to hold off and take this one in a crazy game. Game, winning 5-4. to four. Now just a quick note, Vancouver is the leading team in regards to allowing 5 plus goals per game, and this is their 18th game to do so in a 40 game start to the season. That's an insane 45% of their games as they continue their struggles. But that's it for me tonight, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.